ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to be gentle. Just please be very gentle, okay? And stop calling my name. All right, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got a lot to talk to you about, but I don't have a lot of time to talk to you. I have a meeting in less than 18 minutes, so that means this will be short. I got something I want to explain to y'all because some of y'all are not going to get it. And so I'm going to try to take it slow so that you will get it. Now, I often say you don't hear people talking about certain things on YouTube until after I talk about it. That's okay. Uh, no, 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 no. That, you don't understand. I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal. What I'm trying to say is the things that I cover, people are not readily interested in because they didn't know that it went with something that they were doing. So all of a sudden, when I start talking about it, the minds start to expand and expound and be like, oh, Lord, you know what? That will work. And, and then you could do this and you could do that. And hey, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to add to your repertoire of knowledge. Now, I'm going to turn my peoples down. See, they're going to be gentle, okay, when I'm calling you. When I'm calling you, calling you, calling you. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all must understand that we're going to take y'all back as much as we can. Calling your name, baby. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our questions so that you'll understand. Now, I want you guys to understand the nature of what I'm about to say. We're going to start with California because, as I say, most stupid laws come from California. Not, not because, you know, there are California haters that say stupid things like that, but that's just the way it is. They test things out here first before they bring it someplace else. Wake up. In the state of California, comma, can you please cite the law? that says that one must carry photo identification question mark stop listening I don't want it that big, y'all. Come on now. See, it's playing games with me. And I don't want to play. See, it went too far. And I'm tired of it going too far. Hold on now. Let's bring you there. I can live with that. Okay, now let's... <laughs> now, hold on. California does not have a state law that requires residents to carry photo identification. Here are a few specific situations in which you might be required to show photo identification. Wait, hold on. You mean to tell me that there's no law? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all don't do that to me. What you mean there ain't no law requiring a person to carry photo identification? Uh, give me one second. Uh, hold on. Wake up. Wake up. New York. Stop listening. Wait, wait, wait. In New York, there's no specific law that mandates an individual must carry photo identification at all times? Say what? Wait a minute. What the? What? What? I thought the police say. Wait, 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 wait. Hold. Wait, wait, hold, hold on. Y'all, y'all just don't know. This is so surprising. Hold on, hold on. Wake up, Texas. Wake up. I mean, stop listening. Stop listening. Surely Texas has got a law that says you must carry photo identification. I'm asking all these. Immigrants coming in. Texas Driver's License Act passed in 1999 requires all Texas residents to obtain a driver's license 
or identification card if they are 17 years or older or drive a motor vehicle on the public roads. The law also requires that the driver's license or identification card must be presented to law enforcement officers on demand. Woo. I knew somebody had a law that says you must carry photo identification. Okay, now I want y'all to understand this because this is very important. Ladies and gentlemen, the Texas Driver's License Act, go back and read it. It says it requires, and this is not, as a matter of fact, let's get it to give us a, a copy of the act. Okay, because that's interesting that Texas could pass an illegal act like this. Hold on now. Wake up. What exactly does it say? Wake up. What exactly does the text read? Question mark. Stop listening. When I'm calling your name, baby. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a transportation code. Yeah, the Texas Driver's License Act can be found in Chapter 521 of the Texas Transportation. Let's let them talk. Got me sitting up here reading. The Texas Driver License Act is found in Chapter 521 of the Texas Transportation Code. The law was passed in 1999 and has been amended several times since then. The current version of the law can be found on the website of the Texas Legislature. The Driver License Act establishes a comprehensive system for the issuance and regulation of driver's licenses in Texas. The law sets forth the requirements for obtaining a driver's license, as well as the grounds for suspension or revocation of a license. Here are some of the key provisions of the Driver License Act. Eligibility. To obtain a driver's license in Texas, you must be at least 16 years old, have a social security number or a Department of Homeland Security number, and pass a written and driving test. Types of licenses. There are several different types of driver's licenses available in Texas, including a Class C license for non-commercial vehicles, a Class A or B. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Now, watch this. This is important. Wake up. Can you please provide the section of the Constitution permitting the government to require a person to identify themselves while in public? Question mark. Yes, we've heard about this Terry stop thing, that the police can stop and ask questions of an individual, comma, but where is the constitutional justification, comma, granting law enforcement to stop a person under suspicion, question mark, and require that they identify themselves, question mark. Stop listening. Now remember, stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, I want you all to understand this. The law specifically does not require you to carry a license, does not require you to carry a photo identification. That is the statute. That is not the law. The law just simply says that it's a fundamental doctrine that all people who are civilians in the civilian population be able to identify themselves. So when the police ask you for your name, you just simply give them your name. You don't have to give them your birth date because your birth date doesn't identify you. And there is no law, constitution, or enacted by the legislature 
under their lawful capacity for you to give a birth date, for you to give your address. Your address does not identify you. Wait, hold on a minute. You mean I can tell them my address and that will give them my identification? I ain't got to tell them my name or nothing else, just give them the address? Your address does not identify you. A piece of plastic does not identify you. Let me say this again. A piece of plastic does not identify you. Only you can stop forest fires, can identify you. Okay? Now watch this. This is very, 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 very pivotal. We got to open another chat. And the reason why I do this, because I don't want him relying on the previous comment, because he will. Wake up. Can you please provide the delegation of authority in the Constitution whereby the Supreme Court or the judicial branch has the right to interpret statute? Question mark. And the delegation of authority for the judicial branch to create law via court opinion? Question mark. From what I understand, comma, laws can only be created by Congress, comma, and it must be through the, open quote, legislative process, close quote. And any statute and or regulation and or ordinance that is not through the legislative process, comma, is not law, period. Can you provide four case citations supporting this conclusion? Question mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let them talk, but then, like I said, I got to go. Wasn't trying to spend all the time in the world on this. I just wanted to give y'all something to <clears throat> marinate on. Hold on, marination. The, authority. the delegation of authority in the Constitution whereby the Supreme Court or the Judicial Branch has the right to interpret statute is found in Article 3, Section 1, which states that the judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court, and in such... Hold on. Wake up. Wake up. You incompetent piece of trash. Comma. How in the world? Comma. How in the world can you go to Article 3, Section 1, and says that gives the Supreme Court the authority to interpret statute? Period. The Seventh Amendment clearly documents that the Supreme Court only has the authority to hyphen determine controversies, comma, nothing in the Constitution grants the Supreme Court or any other court the authority to interpret statute or create law via opinions and or citations, exclamation mark. How dare you suggest that the Constitution delegates this authority implied or otherwise, period. Unless it's explicitly expressed by the Constitution, the authority does not exist. Comma, it's called the delegation of powers, you moron. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, sometimes I just have to make sure it knows that I know what I'm talking about. Whew. Now, it, it always going to do the however part. <laughs> the Supreme Court has long held that it has this authority. Uh, excuse me. Watch this. Wake up. Under the principles of jurisdiction, comma, no authority has the right to determine its own authority, comma, and for you to suggest that the Supreme Court gave itself the authority in Mulberry versus Madison, comma, Mulberry versus Madison is not the delegation of authority statute nor is it part of the Constitution, comma, so your response 
however illogical it is, operates as a non-response. Comma, as I said, you are a moron. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Court gave itself the authority and power to review cases and the power to interpret statute. Can you believe that? Okay. Do, do you believe that? Okay. I, I don't understand it, y'all. Now, they say they can determine that a law passed by the Constitution only if the people bring the law to their attention. See, the Seventh Amendment simply gives it the right to um, trials by jury, not jury trials. This does not mean the Supreme Court cannot interpret statute. It doesn't mean that they can. There is no direct delegation of authority. Now, I, I can't go on much longer, y'all, because I got two minutes, and that means I got to go now. The concept of entity having the authority to determine its own authority can be a complex. Why is it a complex issue? There, there's nothing complex about it. Nobody can give itself its jurisdiction. The courts do not have the authority to determine their own jurisdiction. Okay? The court did not simply declare that it had the power. It's based its decision on the structure of the American government and the principles that set rich the power. No, their power could only come explicitly from the Constitution. Hey, we're going to have to talk about this later because I got to go. I told y'all I had to go. Y'all take care, okay? I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Just remember, you must identify yourself. It doesn't say you must have identification, people. Don't let nobody imply that. Got to go.